Hey guys, so today is the day I am going to go ahead and get my two strand twists. Um, put those in my hair so we can get this lock journey cracking. Let's talk about it. Let me start by saying that I am a little bit under the weather today um, I think this happens to me almost every year like sinuses or um, something like that so I think that's what's kind of going on I woke up with my hair really stuffy um, and just feeling congested and so I didn't get started as early as I would have liked to um, I am getting a slow start into the day for sure um, this is the result of me taking out those twists that I had in in my last video. A um, little frizzy. Still pretty defined. But this is what it looks like. Um, I typically tend to wash my hair in the shower because it's just more manageable that way. I'm about to take a shower which I am hoping serves a dual purpose of kind of helping to continue to um, decongest all of this that's happening up in here and get my hair clean so that I can get started. Let me share what I am going to be washing my hair with. Okay, so I'm going to wash my hair with um, this here. I'm not sure if that showed up, but it is the um, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo. Um, for dry and damaged hair. My hair is actually not really damaged, but it does tend to be on the drier side. Um, this was not what I intended to use. I actually ordered this with my um, Walmart order and they were out of the um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo and this is the one that they gave me. Um, I've kind of been reading over it and I feel good about using this one as a substitute. So this is what I'm going to be shampooing my hair with and then I am going to do a hot oil treatment on it using um, coconut oil and then I am going to get my twist started. So I will be back shortly. Alright guys, so I just got done showering and shampooing my hair. Um, I typically just tie my hair up in an old t-shirt um, when I get out the shower and i really like the way it first of all it smells it smells amazing from that shampoo but i also like the way that my hair feels after using that um it just feels really light and fluffy i love that um so i'm about to go ahead and go through uh doing my hot oil treatment on it i'm just going to be using some um unrefined virgin coconut oil it's um i bought this from aldi so it's nothing special nothing fancy um under five dollars i'm sure but a jar of this will last me a while um i'm gonna go ahead and melt it in the microwave section my hair off um, and sit under a heating cap for probably about 20 or 30 minutes um, and then i will rinse that out before i start to twist everything so that is what's up next. So here I'm just parting my hair to get it um, sectioned off to prepare it for my hot oil treatment. So to do my hot oil treatment, I just took my hair down section by section because it has started to dry, I sprayed it with a little water to dampen it again. Um, and then I just took the oil, the melted oil in the jar um, and kind of poured it into my hair. I don't really recommend doing it this way. I could have made a mess, but I didn't, but I could have. Um, so I will probably put it in a better container to um, put it into my hair next time, especially since my hair has gotten so long.
I'm just brushing it through to work it through my hair um, and then I'll do that in each section because my camera was not at a really good angle you don't get to see as much as I hoped that you would so I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up here After I got it all worked through my hair here, I just put my plastic cap over it and then I set up under my heating cap for about 30 minutes. All right guys, so I finally got um, the hot oil treatment done, rinsed that out, um, I sectioned my hair off. Um, I just am sectioning it off in three sections and then I'm going to go and part across this way and then once I get up to the top, um, I'll put, I'm actually going to try and make it so that I can have a part on this side, a part on this side, and a part down the middle to give me some versatility. So I'm going to kind of mess with those parts once I get up to that part of my head. Um, I am just keeping it really simple. I got my water bottle because my hair is already starting to dry a little bit. Um, I am going to twist my hair using the Cantu Shea Butter um, Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. Um, I'll link it so that you can see what it is. This was actually my second choice. Again, um, I ordered my stuff because of quarantine and all of that. Um, I had placed my order with Walmart. I was going to do the ORS um, lock and twist gel. But I feel good about this. This was my second choice if they didn't have it. And it smells really good. So this is what I will be using. I have my clips because as I twist my hair... I like to put my clips at the end of them to kind of keep them stretched out so that they don't um, draw up because my hair will be wet when I twist it and so it naturally kind of wants to draw back up. So I kind of go through and clip as I as I twist. Um, I'm not going to be very meticulous about my parts. I'm going to try and make sure that my twists are um, as close to the same size as possible. But the reality is like I just don't have it in me to sit here and try and like do perfect parts all over my head I'll be here all night um so I'm going to try and make sure that my parts going across are really good and then I'm just going to section off using um either my finger or the comb whichever feels best so I'm going to go ahead and get started um and then I'll check back in in a minute Gonna twist like two of them slowly here so you can see how I do my twist and then after that I'll just speed things up a bit
All right, guys, so I got my first row done. I'm going to turn around so you can hopefully see um, what they look like. Um, that is the first row. And so I'm going to just keep going, parting my way up until I get to the top section. Um, and then I'm going to start parting across this way. So let's see what happens. All right, so I am finally finished. This is it. Um, it took me a total of roughly three and a half hours. I started right around 5.15. It is now 8.49. Um, and they are smaller than any twist that I probably have ever done. Um, I'll turn around and show you the back. Um, I feel good about it. I like them. Um, for my parts up front, I have my side part here. Um, I did part it so that if I decide I want to go down the middle somewhere in here. Let me see. I got a middle part. And then I also have a part on this side if I decide I want to switch my sides. Um, I think that I could probably switch it up when I go to do my retightening. Um, so we'll see. I have them pretty stretched right now because as I was twisting, um, I was using my clips and kind of clipping them as I went. Um, for the most part, they're dry now. This side is a, just a tiny damp. The back is dry. This side is damp because this is where I finished at. Um, but not like really, really wet. Like I can feel it. Um, I may sit under the dryer before I go to bed if I feel like my hair isn't dry enough because I would prefer for it to be dry before I go to bed. I typically sleep with this little <laughs> um, makeshift sleeve thing that I have. I think I cut it off like one of my husband's old shirts a long time ago. Um, but it's not cotton. I don't know it might be it's just thicker um and it's a sleeve and I literally like pull it down over my neck and then pull it back and typically that allows me to keep my hair stretched um it doesn't like do anything to my edges and it stays on my head pretty good so um I've been using that and I also have a satin lined cap so I'm gonna go between those two but right now um, this is where we are at. How many do I have? I do not know because I was not counting. I'm too tired to count now. Um, I may ask my dear husband to count for me, see if he would be willing. Um, but I will update that in my next video. Um, how many I actually have because I do not know, but I know that this is the most that I have like ever put in my head before. So I'm curious myself to um, find out how many I have. But yeah, so today is April 11th and it is the first day of the journey. So I'm excited. Can't wait to share um let me know what questions you guys have what things you might want to see from me as i am documenting this because i have never actually like i did horrible with um documenting like my whole natural journey and all my different big chops and fade in my hair and all of that like i did horrible with documenting that and this time i actually want to do a little bit better um a whole lot better a whole lot better so if you guys have specific questions or specific videos that you would want to see, please do not hesitate to let me know. Um, so that will help me come up with, you know, what I'm going to share. Um, but other than that, 
this is it I think I'm gonna just kind of feel it out my thought is that I will probably tighten up uh, my roots in say three weeks um but I'm just gonna play it by ear because I don't know I don't want to do it too soon um so we will just see but three weeks is my plan that's all I got don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button